Now let's go to the second tab, the shop and the archive. And here you can set the default layout for the product categories, all the product categories, all the product tags, the shop page and the search results page. First, let's start with the uh, categories layout. Here I am talking about the categories pages uh, themselves. If you go to the products categories, and uh, I'm talking about these uh, categories, which are the archive uh, pages. So if I open any of these uh, categories in the front end to see how does it look, as you can see, it's uh, also a basic uh, layout, just a list of the products and a, a sidebar. Uh, if I go to the settings, I will select one of uh, the pre-made layouts to be used for all of my categories at once. So I have this category layout number one. And I, I can also use it for the product tags as well. And uh, we have also here the same option as the uh, products to make the uh, rows 100% on the archive pages. If you click on save, and if you go back to the uh, category page, as you can see, and reload the page, Now this, this category is much more uh, beautiful than the default uh, one. Okay, now uh, just like uh, products, you can set a, a general layout for all of the products and you can also set a specific layouts for specific products. You can do the same thing with the categories and the tags using the archive builder right here. So if I open the archive builder, uh, the archive builder is uh, the same as Divi library, except uh, layouts uh, built here will only be used for the uh, product categories and uh, tags. So let's say that you want a specific layout for the hoodies. If uh, now, if you view the hoodies in the front end, you will see that uh, it will be using the uh, default layout of all the categories, just like uh, this one here. But if you want for the hoodies to has a different layout, you can go to the archive a, a archive builder and add a new layout. You can call it hoodies layout and use the Divi builder to build the layout. But before you can do that, before you do that, just come to the sidebar. You will see all the product categories you have and the product tags. I want to use this layout on hoodies, so I will just click on hoodies and use the, the, uh, the Divi Builder to build uh, this layout. I will select one of the pre-made layouts. and select the category layout number two. I am using the uh, category layout number one to be the default layout for all of the categories, but I will select this one for this very category. Now, if I publish this uh, layout, and go to the hoodies, reload the page. 
and as you can see now the hoodies are you is using the the hoodies page is using uh, the uh, new layout that i just created in the archive builder and the same goes for the tags next you can select the layout to be used for the shop page if i go to the shop page it is the same as the default layout of the categories just a list of the products and the sidebar to set a layout for this a page uh, from the settings select one of the, the saved layouts in Divi library I will select this one and click on save the changes and if you go to the show page and reload now the show page is, is using uh, this layout which is better than the default one. You may say that the shop page is, a, is just a normal page under the pages. Why not just go to the pages and open the shop page and use the builder on it? Uh, I highly recommend that you don't uh, do that because this will affect uh, WooCommerce, WooCommerce search results page. If your client is searching for a product using the search widget that you can add to the sidebar, uh, editing the shop page itself under the pages will break the search uh, functionality this is the shop page if you go to it as you can see it's just an empty page nothing here at all so i highly recommend that you leave it like that and just uh, apply the layout from the plugin settings so you don't break the uh, search functionality on uh, woocommerce next to set the uh, layout for the search results page also select the one of the layouts right here and click on uh, save changes uh, to see how uh, the search results page look i will just go to the appearance to add the uh, search widget to the sidebar if you scroll down you can see product search I will add it to the sidebar and uh, of course my plugin also have a search product search widget that you can use on uh, the product uh, you can use it anywhere actually but if you are using the widget the results page that comes from this uh, product search widget will redirect the users to the a search results page that we just selected right here and we'll show you an example if I go to the home page to see the sidebar as you can see this is the default widget if I search for anything and hit enter you will go to the search results page and as you can see this is the pre-made layout that I just selected uh, right here uh, if you don't have a layout for the search results page and go to the uh, uh, results page and reload the page you will get the exact same layout as the shop you will see here a list of the products if you have any the products that match the search term and also a sidebar but of course using a custom layout for the search uh, the search page is uh, of course is far better than the default one